Mark Dion is um, famous for his large-scale installations, his immersive interventions and his cabinets modeled after the Wunderkammer from the Renaissance. Through his work, Mark Dion explores the museographic, scientific, archaeological methods and practices in the contemporary society. For the Cabinet of Electrical Curiosities, you know, I wanted to talk a little bit about the history of the building, right, and which begins as an electrical transfer station, right, so it has that kind of industrial history, and later on it becomes an unofficial nightclub and even a squat. So there are traces of all of that that were here, you know, so there's a, maybe a, an archaeological methodology in the early parts of looking for objects. I'm trying to find traces of those objects, and to be honest, for the electrical um, history, there's not that much. So we have to broaden our search and, and look at flea markets and, and uh, junk stores and salvage places for some of those objects. Uh, on the other hand, there's a lot of things from the last residents, maybe the unofficial squatters who are here, and we want to include that too. So the juxtaposition of these two things is very strange. Well, you know, when I make a work like this, I always sneak in elements from my own story, right? So there are, are objects that reflect my own interests. So, for instance, some of the, the glass insulators are not from here, but are actually from my hometown. And so uh, I want to do that in a way because I'm not you know, I'm not making an exhibition for a technology museum. I'm not making an exhibition for a history museum. This is an artwork. And so my burden is not to tell you, uh, you know, the, the, about the evolution of form and design in electronics. I want to be more playful than that. I want to be more um, engaging than that. I want to be more personal than that. This uh, cabinet is very symbolic for us because it uh, establishes um, continuity between the past and the future of our building, between uh, its industrial uh, former function and its future uh, attribution, a space for art and culture. I think the cabinet itself has a science fiction quality because the materials that are used in electronics at the moment uh, you know, in the, in, the, in the 1920s and 30s are very different from the ones we use today. So there are very durable materials, so you have ceramics and you have porcelain and you have glass, and you also have these kind of Art Deco-like forms. You know, everything is, uh, everything is rounded and, and uh, differently shaped. So it's not even remotely reminiscent to the hard edges and the plastics that we use today. So it has this uncanny feeling that could be as much from the future as the past.